I did it. I've got a new vacuum. I'm so happy. with Loving the Married Life. Welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoyed. This is a motherhood channel. So it's all things motherhood lifestyle. So we do some cook with me's, clean with me, routine with me's, all the with me's, and um, yeah. So I hope you enjoy it. Stick around, subscribe if you're new here. I got a little man and a little girl with me today. We're gonna go to the store. I wanna get a new vacuum so that I can do my next clean with me. I need to do a whole lot of, a lot of things. And I'm very, having a hard time staying motivated today and getting that motivation on. So hopefully I can take you guys along with me and we can get some of that motivation together. And Dalton is gonna be my awesome little helper. He said he's gonna help me do my clean with me today. So you'll probably see the little man helping around, being awesome. And then of course my one year old is a little less helpful. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I can get it all done today. If not, I will be recording over a couple of days. So we're gonna go to the store right now. We'll be back in just a little. Hello, hello. I did it. I've got a new vacuum. I'm so happy. Okay, so now it's time to unbox this bad boy and see what's inside, see if it's as good as the reviews I saw on it. Not a super amazing, awesome, expensive vacuum but I'm hoping it works as wonderful as one. So for a vacuum on a budget, it's not the lowest end, it's not high end, it's very in the middle. which is awesome. My dogs aren't allowed on my furniture. They have their own dog beds, stuff like that, but the actual couch and my bed, I don't let them sleep with me. So um, there's not too, too much hair on it, but I do have a Husky who sheds a lot. So I'm hoping this will work good. It also brag about being able to go from hard to carpet really, really quick. So we'll see how that works. I'm hoping it'll work good enough to use it just kind of everywhere. But let me show you this little piece. What is it? Oh, wow. Oh, Alright, so this is actually like the base of it. It connects in. You're supposed to be able to use it even once you remove it from the base. So super excited. What? You want to see it? how well this one dumps out. Hey, can I say something? Hmm. I so I didn't grab the camera to take it with me just because I wanted to dump it out real quick. But it was great. I pushed the little button here, which my last one had as well. And this piece opens up and dumped all the dirt out, which is great. I did not have to reach up in there and grab anything, which is so gross. But I had to do frequently with my last vacuum. So, so far, it's already doing a way better job. 
I wasn't expecting it to have the swivel. It has like the swivel head on it. So part of what I liked about this was that you could take it and take it off the base. I also didn't realize that you had the option to turn the bottom brush on or off, which is great because when I'm working on the walls or the ceiling fan or furniture, I don't have to have the bottom brush constantly spinning. And on my last one, I had to tilt it back so that it wouldn't spin. Otherwise, it would like destroy whatever rub was underneath it. And I'm impressed. So I'm looking forward to trying it onto the tile and trying in the bedrooms. I'll take you guys along with me as we try out my new vacuum. You tried your best to keep me on your mind, but I know all the things you meant when you said that. I tried to change like the from low carpet to plush setting in mid vacuum and it did not like that so now I know I got to make sure I turn everything off before I switch the um, level of carpet which I should have done anyways my other vacuum was the same way so now me and the kiddos are gonna quickly clean up their room Dalt was playing in their blanket box earlier actually it's not even supposed to be that for that yet but he decided he's putting all that stuff in there so we're gonna go ahead, clean his room super quick, and then vacuum it, see how it does in here. I guess I knew it was for nothing. Spending all that time just running. I'm all back, don't miss you, my seat's nice, don't. So yeah, I really like that when it fills up, it definitely lets you know. You can tell that the vacuum is not as efficient because of the sound it makes. And it, you can just see that it's not really spinning as fast as it was. So that's really cool. I like the power lifter. It says swivel lift off. I guess I just didn't catch the swivel in it earlier. I was just very excited that this piece came off of there. And I like the way that the handle turned into a big part of um, your extension. So super cool, super excited. Now let's go test it on the tile floor and see how it does on a hard floor area. check it out on hardwood so the tile floor test it did really good on as you notice when I got close to that hot dog and all that fun stuff it was doing really good moving around but now I'm gonna put the camera down because it is much easier to vacuum and move things out of the way with two hands instead of me taking the camera with me so I'm gonna get that done really quick all right so I'm gonna go ahead get started and you try it out on my couch and see how it works so it does say for using this tool here. 
um, that it works better with the actual hose than the wand. But I'm gonna try both, so let's see. I had the Helix Turbo whatever and the one of these that it came with was just dunk, junk and you might as well have just been recycling air on it and you got more done with the other one like it never spun it whatever um, so two things I noticed one it works way better much stronger suction been using the wand it worked well but uh, either way it worked better than the other one it does recommend using it this way and it was just kind of easier to maneuver with this but if I had something large I was doing maybe just like a big cushion backboard I think it would be fine but yeah I'm gonna use it next on my bench I do have a cloth bench it gets hair food whatever on it so I have to clean that as well I'll show you guys that I'm gonna do that next this does work way better. I do have a suede couch, and it's a good thing that I'm going to be giving it a good, huge upholstery clean this summer because this actually left some lines, and I noticed I had to be very careful not to put too much pressure, and I had to go diagonally because it it's suede, but when I went horizontal or vertical, you could see the lines in it. end of my test run for this vacuum I'll give another review there um, after I've used it for a while to see if it still holds up but I am super impressed a lot of the functions just so many things about it I am definitely looking forward to ever got a spring cleaning list going on in my mind I am loving it so far so I hope you enjoyed this video what kind of vacuum do you have do you have you tried this type of vacuum what do you think of it if you have this vacuum all right Give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new here, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.